More than 70% of collisions involving a bike happen at or near a junction, so we're going to take you through the most common junctions and how to maneuver around them. Basic Road Positioning While cycling, your basic road position should be at least an arm's length away from the curb. When cycling past parked vehicles, be at least a car door's width away from them. Always check over your right shoulder before moving to ensure it's safe to do so. Passing side roads. When passing side roads on your left, check over your right shoulder before moving into a more central position. Check the junction for emerging traffic before passing it in the central position. Once you have safely passed the junction, check over your shoulder before once again cycling at least an arm's length away from the curb. Turning right from a major to a minor road. While still a good distance from the junction, position yourself at least an arm's length away from the curb. Look over your right shoulder to check if there's anyone behind you. If there is traffic behind you, try and make eye contact with the driver before clearly signalling and moving out into the right-hand side of the lane. As you near the junction, look for oncoming traffic and be prepared to give way. If it's safe to do so, perform the turn. However, if there's oncoming traffic, stop near the centre of the junction you're entering. Keep checking ahead for oncoming vehicles. Allow traffic to flow past your left if there is space to do so. But don't be afraid to take the central position, even if it means that vehicles cannot pass you. Once the way is clear, look over your right shoulder and perform the turn, aiming for the centre of the lane you're entering. Once you're safely away from the junction, cycle at least an arm's length away from the curb, turning left from a major to a minor road. As you approach the junction, check over your right shoulder and try and make eye contact with the driver behind you. Then move out into the centre of the lane and indicate left. Look over your left shoulder to check for undertaking cyclists. Then perform the turn, aiming for the centre of the lane you are entering. Don't ride too close to the kerb as drivers may be tempted to overtake you on the junction which could lead to a pinch point further down the road. Once safe to do so, position yourself at least an arm's length away from the kerb and continue cycling. Turning left from a minor to a major road. As before, check over your right shoulder before indicating and moving into a more central position. If there is traffic from the right, stop at the junction, positioning yourself in this area of the road. Once the traffic is cleared, Set off giving yourself plenty of space to avoid possible road defects before returning to riding at least an arm's length away from the kerb. Turning right from a minor to a major road. Check over your shoulder as you approach the junction. If no one is behind you, there is no need to indicate. Position yourself further to the right when waiting at the junction. This helps indicate to traffic behind you what your intended direction of travel is. However, avoid the dead centre of the road since vehicles may cut into this space. Once it's safe to do so, pull across the road heading straight across the junction. This minimises your time exposed to oncoming traffic. Again, once it's safe to do so, return to cycling at least an arm's length away from the kerb.